Daniel Jimenez. Hello. Am I saying Hello. that correctly? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you say it so I know how it sounds perfect. perfectly. Daniel Jimenez. Okay, cool. And um, you used to live in Portland until recently, is that correct? Yeah, I was living in Portland until December of last okay, year. Cool. I had to move to New Mexico. Okay. And um, when did you get the idea to start this petition? Well, I was pretty much just looking around Facebook, you know, and I got a sense that a lot of people are very angry mm. about what's going on with the healthcare mm. part right now. So I just got the idea of starting a petition to see what will happen, you know. And that's pretty much how it started. Just I feel like, like everybody else, I'm kind of like angry, you know. I feel mm -hmm. very angry, and I feel like very anxious and kind of like desperate mm -hmm. because I feel like people that are making the decisions are just playing with us, kind of thing, you know. Like I don't feel like they really care about the betterness of the country. Mm -hmm. They're just playing games. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would, I thought it would be interesting just to to see what will happen. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by the response? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been crazy. I mean, I remember I, I, did, I did the petition like right after work, you know, uh -huh. and I told my co-worker, hey, I started a petition, like, check it out. Uh -huh. And I got really excited when I saw like another person sign it, you know, so it was like <laughs> me and another person. After that, we went to a bar, like mm -hmm. for a happy hour, and I check it again, it's like 500 people. It's like, wow, that's pretty cool, you know, like, yeah. hopefully I can get a thousand. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to sleep that night, it had like 7,000. Mm -hmm. And then when I woke up, it has like yeah, 35,000. Uh, and then it, um, it's just, um, it's just so, uh, How many do you have now? Uh, around 400,000, oh, okay, yeah. more 400,000. I think hopefully it reaches half a million. And what happens when it reaches half a million? Uh, well, I'm talking to the people from change.org. And I think we're going to start talking to people in Washington, D.C., to see if we can the petition to someone and just take it from there. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, when I started this, I have no idea what's going on. And now I'm still, I'm still just trying to, to do out of it. Have you gotten any response from any politicians, or has it all been? Mm, not yet. No, I haven't, haven't contacted anyone yet, I think. You know, um, I just need like some guidance of someone to tell me exactly yeah. how to do it. But I want to do it. I mean, I, I feel responsible now that I have a lot of people. Yeah. Like, so, so you cut out just a tiny bit there at the end. Sorry. It was okay. Um, do you think that most of the response you've gotten has it been positive? Yes, yes. Everybody can agree with me that uh, these people don't really represent us anymore. And everybody just feels Yeah. I know in your petition you talk a little bit about your father. Um, do you feel like he is a, the inspiration for this petition? Or? Well, it does mean, like I say, like I know what. Another struggle that people have whenever they don't have access to health care, you know. I mean, my, my, my father didn't feel sick. The cancer was very advanced. You know, I think that's what happened. Like, you might have cancer, but you don't really know. You feel like it's hurting a lot. And when that happens, it's because it's really late. Yeah. So, of course, I wonder, like, if he would have just gone to regular checkups, you know, maybe they would have got it earlier. Yeah. And maybe yeah. she will be here, you know? I mean, I don't know. Okay. And I just, if I don't you just find out if it has, that would be very helpful. There's some yeah. noise I'm hearing that. Oh, you, uh, there could be somebody talking over there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Is that's it just, okay. is it just like a voice sound? Yeah, like a lady talking. Oh yeah, that's definitely somebody talking. <laughs> sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, yeah, like my petition is pretty much because I don't want anybody to go through what my dad went through. Yeah. Well. Like, that was awful, you know? Yeah. And I don't want anybody to see what I saw mm -hmm. during that moment. Yeah. Just because it's just not human to like see that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I hope that my petition can at least bring some awareness, you know, that sometimes people just need access to help to prevent stuff like this 
from happening. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much all I want. You know, I want people that make decisions to have the same concerns we all have before we go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Daniel. I don't want to take up too much of your time. And I know you have to get back to work, but um, That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks so much. And uh, will you keep us updated and let us know what happens with the petition when you, if you reach uh, half a million? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Uh, I just sent it an update recently. Okay, cool. How uh, long, what's the time period to get to uh, half a million? I don't know. I mean, I don't think I, have, I don't think I have a, a goal. You know, uh, like it keeps increasing. Like once I reach five hundred thousand, uh, then I reach to a million. Uh, but I think it's good. It, I have a good amount of support right now to yes. to make it happen. So cool. I'll, I'll you guys both it and and thank you for taking the time and, and writing it down. Well, thank you. Know? you. Yeah, uh, this was a really popular article. A lot of people shared it. So um, yeah. I think- I'm, I'm getting, a lot emails, getting a lot of emails from friends saying that <laughs> I'm on <mute. laughs> Well, thank you so much, Daniel. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Bye. Bye.